look who's back here today. It's Semper Vivi. You grew your beard back. Don't do that on the air. We're going to get booted off. Very unprofessional. I will not tolerate drinking on the air. We got a lot to get into here today, everybody. So listen. First off, you know what? I'm going to start with these slammies. I don't care. It's my show. It's Wednesday. It's our, it's our Christmas show here. So they did the slammies today. And if you heard the Observer Radio that I did on, on uh, Monday, I went over all of the nominees. So now I just want to go over the winners. I want to find out what I was right about and what I was wrong about. Obviously, the most shocking thing about the Slammies is this company promoted a match that they billed as the greatest match ever, and it couldn't even win match of the year when they did the Slammies. What? So anyway, here we go. Most creative 24-7 championship pin. I didn't even know that. That was like a new one. They just added that one. Drew Gulak pinning R-Truth after dressing up as a janitor. whoop de doo Someone send him his trophy. Male Superstar of the Year ended up being Drew McIntyre. Good choice. That's what I thought. Mike, don't say anything unless you disagree with something. That way we don't spend like three hours doing this. If you disagree with, for example, Drew McIntyre is the Superstar of the Year, feel free to jump in. Otherwise, I'll just keep going here and get it over with. All right. Ring Gear of the Year, The New Day. I want to add that among the nominees were Sasha Banks, Bianca Belair, and Carmella. But the New Day won. I'm just saying. Return of the Year Edge. I agree with that one. Musical Performance of the Year. New category. The winner was Elias. whoop de doo Rivalry of the Year Edge and Randy Orton. I actually did vote for that of all of them because they had one really boring match at WrestleMania, but they had a bunch of great promos. They had a great match, which was not the greatest match ever, but it was like a really good match. And the other nominees were Drew and Randy, Seth and the Mysterio family, Sasha versus Bailey, R Truth versus the world, and Lana versus the announcers table. I'm cool with that. Female superstar of the year was Sasha Banks. I voted for Asuka, but whatever. Breakout star of the year was the Street Profits which I guess I'm cool with. I think that my vote was for Dominic Mysterio, but Street Profits at least won title, so that's fine. We had the male and female trash talkers of the year. Well, first, the social media superstar of the year was Bailey. Bailey? And now, the male and female trash talkers of the year. I guess this was best promo. This was not a category that I was unaware of. Uh, but, Mike, would you like to take a guess as to who the male and female trash talkers of the year were for WWE? The male and female trash talkers of the year? Well, I guess if the Street Profits already won an award, they would probably want to space that out to somebody else. Um... This is best on promos. You tell me you were going to vote for the Street Profits? No, well, it's it's Trash Talker of the Year. Why are you treating this as if it's a major award for some reason, and you need some validation over some of the nonsense you picked out of a bunch of nonsense categories? I picked most of them right, but male and female Trash Talker of the Year. Congratulations, you have the mindset of Vince McMahon. Good job with your CTE. Can we move on with this? old broken down brain. Male and female Trash Talker of the Year. Take a pick. MVP, and you know what? We'll give her two awards since Bailey was a pretty good trash talker and whatever award she she won before. I'll go with with two trophies. Bailey is the other person. How about MVP and Bailey? First off, nothing like a CTE joke to lighten up the holidays. Second off, the male trash talker of the year. Somebody got lit on fire. The hurt business and the female trash talker of the year. So I was right. The female trash talker of the year. The female trash talker of the year. Ain't that hard. I got one. Mike Sempervivi is the winner. Damn right. Congratulations. Actually, they gave it to... They gave it to Lacey Evans. What? Actually, you know what? I knew I would stop you in your tracks after all your trash talking. everything that you've said so far, why am I not surprised that it would be Lacey Evans? Lacey Evans is the female trash talker of the year. Oh, my God. 
Documentary of the Year, The Last sure. Ride. Celebrity Appearance of the Year, Rob Gronkowski. Get out of here. He did zilch. Stupid. Double Cross of the Year, Bailey turns on Sasha. Referee of the Year, Charles Robinson. Oh, good for him. Moment of the Year, The Undertaker's Final Farewell. Bro. And then the Tag Team of the Year, Street Profits. Really? Over Bailey and Sasha? Ridiculous. And yes, the match of the year was not the greatest wrestling match ever. It was the Undertaker-AJ Styles Boneyard match, which I like that match and all, but dude, it was your idea to call it the greatest wrestling match ever. You couldn't even give it match of the year. Superstar of the year, Drew McIntyre. So there you go. Congratulations to all of the winners of the Slammies. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.